Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome to my channel or our channel. Sipo, it's our channel, ne? Is it my channel or your channel or our channel? <laughs> You're the manager of the channel. Thank you so much for, for, for joining us. I guess I just wanted to talk about like uh when I, I started this channel I uh I started it uh during uh the holidays, December holidays. Because I know, like, uh, moms of uh, special needs kids would, would probably relate to this because holidays are usually the hardest uh, time for a mom of a special needs uh, child or special needs kid. Uh, because that is the time that we don't have help. I mean, people have to go home, people that help us with our kids have to go home. And it's it's usually not easy to get somebody to just come and work and help you during December, and it takes so much training to uh, get somebody to help you with your child. So you can't just take anybody. And family members and friends are usually like busy with their own stuff, so it is a challenging time. So. For me, I usually don't rest during the holidays. I don't. So those, those are the time. That's the time that I'm more. I'm the most tired, and I felt like I wanted a space where I could share how I was feeling and I could share how my holiday uh, holidays were going. Uh, but I didn't want to do it in my other channel because I felt like it doesn't really go with. What I do in uh, uh, in that channel, so I wanted a different uh, space where I could share, but it it really didn't happen. I did post some videos uh, about uh, the stuff that I do with her to prepare her for the day, the feedings, and all of, all of that. But I wasn't able to do this uh, type of videos, which I thought I was gonna do more of, which was like a, a diary kind of and my imagination of what I was going to do was at the end of the day, I would sit and just talk about how my day went and how I was feeling for a day. But I think like uh, maybe three times I I would be done for the day and then I would set up the, everything, my laptop, my the lights and um, I could, everything I would set up to actually sit down and record and then I just wouldn't be able to do it because I would be so tired. <laughs> I would be so tired. If you know any special needs mom, they will tell you there is being tired and there is the exhaustion that comes with uh, being a caretaker for a child that depends on you 100%. My angel is 11, year, 11 years old. So if you imagine... She is as tall as an eleven uh, as an, uh, an eleven years an eleven year old would be, so and as big. So uh, she's heavy. The lifting takes a lot out of you. The lifting, the you know, the feeding, the changing, putting the clothes on, putting the clothes off, all of the stuff takes a lot. So you get a lot of back pain, neck pain lower back by the end of the day you're like just done and you're just done and and so and so like so many times i said to try and record something and i just wouldn't be able to, uh, i wasn't able to do it because it was just too much so yeah so i thought i'd just record something today because uh the caretaker I, I mean she came back a week ago and she had asked to to stay for uh, last weekend. I wanted her to come back on the Thursday so I could get a weekend uh, to rest before I go to work on Monday because I started at work again on Monday. So she had asked to stay that weekend and I said, no, can she please come because I need a few days to just uh, take a break before I can go back to work. 
but she hadn't uh, done some stuff for her child at home. So I said, okay, then she can take this weekend too. So I can take that weekend and then she will take this one. So today it's a Friday. I don't know when I'll post this video because my network is so bad. Uh, so it's a Friday today. So she just left. So I'm left with my baby. I'm back to being a caretaker. And yeah, but... I guess that's the thing that made me not do those videos that I was intending to do, which was more going to be more like a diary about how a day goes. It's, it's uh, turning out to be more difficult than I thought to actually do uh, those videos. And the thing about it, I always think, uh, because I'm even lucky that I have somebody that can come and help me. And because she's very good with her and I trust her now, like I've seen it. I mean, I was with her the whole year last year. So she worked with my baby for the whole uh, 12 months. So now I, I trust her. I can leave my baby if I need to go somewhere. So I can actually do, go do my job, which is this one. <laughs> and then I can do my other stuff and which is also uh, doing youtube videos because my channel is growing i actually have like 2000 uh, almost 2700 uh, subscribers that side so it's uh, starting to require a lot of uh, videos i have to upload all the time those are the things that normally if i was a full-time uh, caretaker for her and i wasn't having any help i wouldn't be able to do it and and but there are there's so many mothers out there who are actually doing it uh, themselves and they don't have any help. And the way that I would be so exhausted when I don't have anybody help me. And it it also just not the physical, but it's physical and it's mental because over and above having to do everything for her, it's also just the constant thinking about whether you are doing the right thing or not. Okay, is it time to change her or not? Maybe I should have left that nap. Maybe I should have changed that nap. You know, uh, maybe I'm feeding her too much. Is it enough? Is she full? Is she not full? Is she drinking enough? Is she not drinking uh -huh. enough? Because everything that she has to do depends on is she sitting comfortable? If she's making a noise, is she uncomfortable? Or is she, uh, is she or she's just playing? So it's constant and it's constant thinking and it's constant guilt because you always feel like even when you're doing your absolute best, you don't know if that's what she needs at that time because she's not able to uh, communicate. So it takes a whole lot more than just um, a physical work. So like when you have somebody that helps you, at least then you are able to take care of the emotional stuff then you know because she would uh, take care of the baths and she would change and she will feed her then i have to uh make sure that you know uh then i supervise that and i make sure that you know like when i come back and i want to spend time with her i can just spend time with her i don't have to worry about whether she has bath or not obviously i'll still have to find out how that bath went and everything but i i don't have to do it um uh, myself or if I want to give her a break then I can do it but I always think how hard it is for mothers that have to do that uh, for themselves it is a lot and um, a lot of people won't, wouldn't understand when you say you don't uh, want to go places uh, with her or you don't want to go places yourself because if I have free time, I'd rather just stay at home and rest and all of that. And it's tricky because it's a job that is done with love. Like, it's one of the things that even if I'm, like, absolutely exhausted and I cannot lift my head, but if I'm convinced that she needs something, I would wake up from that bed and go uh, do it for her. So, and, yeah, and it comes with a lot of worries as well because you worry about her future, you worry about um, if something had to happen to me, uh, how, uh, what would happen with her, what uh, would she be okay, would her father be okay with uh, taking care of her. So it, 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 it is a lot. So 
if you've got a mother that uh, has a special needs child in your in in your life, those are the things that they are dealing with. They might not be exactly because when it comes to um, disabilities or special needs, it really varies. Even when a child children have the same condition, it it would not not affect them the same. So. That's why it's very lo- it's it's a very lonely journey to walk when you are in a, a parent of a special needs because there is never anybody there's never somebody out there that absolutely understands what I'm going through. They might understand part of this, but not everything. There are parents that have kids with uh, cerebral palsy, but their kids can walk. Uh, some of them, their kids can talk, and mine can't do either. So uh, some of them they can. Um, it's on their own uh, and then you know so but other people have looked at her and said oh you know uh, actually my situation is worse than you so there's never somebody that's going through like the condition is exactly the same as your child so it's always different so it can be a lonely place even in because uh, I do not parent alone her father is very present in her life he uh, helps a lot, he does a lot, but as a mother, I st- I'm still alone in that journey as a mom because my worries as a mom are different. Even though we are both in this, he's the father, I'm the mom, but the, the, my journey as a mom is different. I'm walking that journey alone. I could share it as much as I want, but the experience of it, I am having it alone and nobody can ever understand it. And that's a difficult thing because even people that are experts in, in the field, in, in it's just things that sometimes I talk to doctors and uh, specialists and you can just see that these people have no idea. Yeah. Yes, they went to school and whatever, but they have no idea what... You, uh, sometimes you can see even the way that doctors will handle uh, parents when you, when you go for appointments and you can see how they speak to parents. Uh, and you can see that they, they don't understand the difference in just a parent bringing their child in that has no disability and a parent that is bringing a child with a disability. I don't think that they are trained to understand the emotional part of it, the mental part of it, and how uh, fragile those parents are mentally and, and uh, emotionally. And uh, and you experience it when you go to these places like hospitals and, and all of that, that those people actually, yeah, they, they understand the condition, but there's so much more that goes on and that comes with that, that they actually don't understand. So, yeah, I just thought I would share that. It probably won't even make a lot of sense, this video, to a lot of people. But maybe it will make sense to just one person. Maybe one special needs mom will watch this video and they would have certain uh, things that I've said that they can relate to. And if you were a special needs mom and you want to share something on this channel, then you can tell me and we can make some arrangements. If you want to record a video and send it to me and give me permission to share your video here so that we can share about our experiences, then yeah, you are welcome to do that. But thank you so much uh, for joining me on this channel. I'm so tired. I'm tired. And I have videos to do on my other channel. Oh, they're waiting for me. <laughs> I need to do some reading as well. So thank you so much. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Please do. Thank you so much. Bye.